Welcome back to another episode of Cobra's World, the only place to see your favorite world sports betting Cape Cobra's players doing things outside of the boundary rope. It's been a season of fun, so sit back and join us as we reminisce on the Cobra's World season that was. Newlands Cricket Ground was buzzing with the sounds of 1,000 budding young cricketers as the annual KFC Mini Cricket Festival marked the end of their season. World sports betting Cape Cobra's batsman Simon Kamari was there to impart some of his knowledge. How's it guys? My name is Simon Kamari, Cobra's top order batsman. Welcome to Newlands Cricket Stadium. We're currently hosting the KFC Mini Cricket Festival. It's a wonderful day for young kids to express themselves and have fun with their parents and coaches. KFC Mini Cricket Coordinator in the Western Cape, Mark Kobane, provides a little more insight into this festival. Mini Cricket is the first base into the pyramid of the pipeline of CSA. This is where all is start and the aim is to get all these young stars to make sure we filter them in through the system. Every year the provincial uh, festival is always right at the back end of the season to kind of finish off the season and say well done coaches, well done kids for the work you've done in your communities and feeding off to your local clubs in your areas. Today we've got exact thousand kids that are here today and we've got about 200 coaches that have turned up. We appeal to all schools in clubs to join the program for the 2020-21 season and make sure that we grow the, the program and, and, and hopefully that these youngsters, hopefully we will play for the Cobras one day. Uh, absolutely, I do remember it. I mean, it's the greatest, I would say it's the greatest times of my cricketing career because I mean, kind of puts things in perspective for myself again of like why you started playing the game, why you should be playing the game, what should be motivating you, you know? Those were golden days and I mean, I'm sure a lot of cricketers look back, professional cricketers look back in, throughout their career and they miss these good times. I mean, to see the kids smiling, having fun and playing the game for the right reasons. It's a beautiful game after all, eh? A couple of games going on around the stadium here. Yeah? Uh, let's have a look what's happening here. Maybe I can just you know, share a bit of my knowledge with the youngsters and have a bit of fun. Okay, bowlers, you, you ball first, eh? So you guys can go a few so long and I'll swap you around, yeah? I'm out here. Yeah, stand there. You, I want you here. Yeah. Your name is Alko, yeah? Okay, Alko, go, boy. Wait, shot! Run, 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 run! Get it in! Throw it! Oh, dear. Run! Throw it! Jeez, they're reeling. Let me ball one, let me ball one. Yeah! Whee! It's a white run! Whee! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Short of breath there. Eh? Did a bit of a workout there. Played a little game with the kids. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It was awesome. Just to see the smiles on the kids' faces is what it's all about. It reminds me of why you started playing cricket. So it was awesome. Thank you, guys. It's been an incredible season, taking the players out of their comfort zones while providing some laughter and memories that we know will last a lifetime. Let's take a look back at some of these moments as we revisit the Cobra's World season that was, starting with a very special visitor at the annual team building. Well, Ezra called me and he asked me if I can assist them to motivate the team. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I went to that Eden, I was the underdog. Today, I'm the only girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to raise him. <laughs> You're as tall as you. And your brain is a bit small. <laughs> 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 All those guys who've had very little sleep last night, good luck to you. <laughs> we'll see you at the other end. Right, and off we go, up the hill. Five hundred meters up already, after ten minutes. Dane Patterson, adapt or die. You only get to the top if you take the hardest route, up the ladder. Peter Devisep, life is about snakes and ladders, I'll take the ladder. Here we go, boys. 
Remember the time when a bunch of cricketers beat a professional football team at a penalty shootout? Or when Dane Patterson took some teammates on a cultural experience? Okay. Oh. They're supposed to win, they said we won't score a goal. We've scored four. It's up to them now, they're under pressure to score. Their keeper, he's he hasn't managed to save any. If I save this one, I am running to Table Mountain. I want to see Come on. <laughs> Welcome to the special edition of Pato's Tour Diaries. Uh, I got AK with me and Andre Nando's Burger. Yes, sir. Can we actually go up? Can we actually go up? I don't know about that. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We are called the Seven Steps Mitzel Group, and we are at the Guma Theatre. We're welcoming the Cape Kilbert Brothers. Sometimes it takes more than a few takes to get things right in front of the camera. Just ask Aviwe Mgajima. Right guys, my wife is finally gone. I can refocus on my own stuff. <laughs> Got my bag, ready to... Never mind. <laughs> right guys. All right, guys, I'm ready to head off new to Newlands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, recording. Three, two, oh, wait, oh, hold on, sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, it's been a great... Never mind. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, thanks for having... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't actually don't know what to say. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me today. That's more like, more or less, uh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Aviwe wasn't the only one who needed a few chances in front of the camera, but there are those people who just love their time in front of the camera. What's the first question again? <laughs> Cancel that. <laughs> this could be interesting, this eh? This going to be fun. Does he? I can't say it on, on camera here, but it's Kwadi Bukaku. <laughs> Choose a movie title to describe one of your teammates. Okay, I'm going to describe two teammates, uh, Kyle and Bedders, and I'm going to uh, go with the movie Brokeback Mountain. Eh? Just for the for the bro bro relationship there, can I put it that way? My only roommate's been Kyle, and I'd have to say that he's the perfect roommate. Nothing bad to say about him. <laughs> say something. I'm giving up on you. Okay. <laughs> by your significant other out of the way. You got it on. <laughs> Happy Valentine's uh, baby. Um, it's not everybody, not just your girlfriend. No! <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you wash your father's car before you take it out of the ghetto, Jay. <laughs> Which chairman is most likely to max out a credit card? I think Pato, eh? They, I heard Pato loves uh, getting new things, so I think Pato would be most likely to max out a credit card. Always having a new car or something like that, I think, I think Pato will be up there, eh? Expensive things. I think it has to be Pato. <laughs> 
Happy Mother's Day to all the phenomenal women that have bore, bore children throughout the year. The annual World Sports Betting Cape Cobras Awards evening had to be cancelled due to the nationwide lockdown as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, that didn't stop us from still recognizing those outstanding individual performances. He made his franchise debut during the CSA four-day series against the Dolphins in October 2019 and grew in confidence as the season progressed. He claimed 20 wickets across both competitions, 14 of them coming in the Momentum One Day Cup, where he ended as our leading wicket-taker. Tando Antini is a deserving winner of the Young Player of the Year Award. Thank you very much to everyone. Uh, management, the Cobras family, fans and everyone that was part of making the call. Um, I've really enjoyed my time with, them, with the guys. I've learned a lot, I've grown a lot and the Cobras family will always be my family. Um, for the Young Player of the Year Award, um, it's, a, it's a massive privilege and honour and uh, thank you very much and best of luck for the rest of the season. And I hope everyone stays safe and looks after themselves during these uh, tough times. Having been handed the captain's armband for the Momentum One Day Cup competition, Zubair Hamza led from the front as he proved what a fine all-round player he is. Scoring 582 runs at an average of 58.2 in 10 matches, which included three 50s and two centuries, with a career-best 156 thrown in for good measure. With numbers like that, it's only fitting that this season's Momentum One Day Cup Player of the Year is Subaya Hamza. Hi, I'm extremely thankful and grateful to receive the Momentum One Day Cup Player of the Year. It's always satisfying to put in good, consistent performances. It was also a major honour to lead the squad for a large part of the One Day Cup. And although it wasn't our best campaign, we are a very proud franchise and I truly believe that we'll be back and better come the next season. Thank you. It was a dream season for one of the members as they bagged three of the five World Sports Betting Cape Cobras Player of the Year awards, scoring 354 runs at an average of 49.28, which included three 50s and two centuries, and taking 30 wickets at an average of 20.96, saw him claim the CSA Four Day Series Player of the Year award. His teammates were so impressed with his consistent performances that they threw their votes behind him to be crowned the Players Player of the Year. Across all competitions, he scored 513 runs and took 37 wickets. We are proud to announce that the CSA Four Day Series Player of the Year, the Players Player of the Year and the coveted World Sports Betting Cape Cobras Player of the Year winner for the 2019-2020 season is George Linda. Firstly, I just want to thank the Cobra teammates for voting me as player, player of the year. Uh, I was grateful to have played with such a bunch of great guys who fight for each other on and off the field. To win a four-day series player of the year was a very proud moment for me, as I've often been considered more successful in white ball cricket. But I'm very grateful for my opportunity this season, which leads me to say thanks to the management for voting me as the World Sports Betting Cape Cobras Play of the Year. I hope to use this as a springboard to take the Cobras to greater heights as we go into an exciting period at the franchise. Stay safe and stay healthy. Well, that's a wrap from us here at Cobras World. We hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed being on this journey with us this season. Don't forget to follow the World Sports Betting Cape Cobras on all of our social media pages. We'll see you next season. Cheers.